Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here bringing you some brand new Cine gameplay. We are going to be playing into a very interesting bot lane. Uh, guys, I don't know. It's weird because ADCs are always telling me how weak their role is. You know, marksmen are so weak. They're so bad. Look at this bot lane, guys. We've got four freaking marksmen down here. Uh, so this is just going to be a matter of who's the better two marksmen, guys. So Quadra Marksman bot lane. Going to be showing you guys how to carry as Cine as always. Uh, you know, props to this MF. I, I'd love me some MF support. No, you know, no, no offense meant to this guy, but, uh, we're going to be taking home the dub. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just always think it's so interesting when it's like, and, you know, technically, like, Teemo is a marksman as well. He's being played up in top lane. All right, this is the level of aggression that you want to play. Level one of Senna, by the way. Oh, bye. You can literally just like win the entire lane and win entire games at like level one. Like I like I know, I know MF support can't do anything outside of using her E because I played a ton of MF support. Uh, so we're just gonna be hardcore abusing that. I want this to be like kind of like an educational game and showing you guys like genuinely how to carry your games as Cinna. Uh, because I see a lot of people like interested in the champion and you know wanting to try all these crazy builds. We're not tr we're not going to be playing anything crazy. We're going to be going like a very, very standard Senna build. I'm just going to be showing you guys like on a very like educational level how to actually win as this champion. Uh, so we want to get this plate, probably grab the wave and then go back. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the wave or uh, the plate yet. We'll get it when this wave crashes. Uh, they have kind of like a weird jungle. They have a, actually we have, we both have weird jungles. We have a Targ jungle. They have a freaking Vigar jungle. Um, but you always want to be thinking about like like get a have a general idea as to like when this Vigar is wanting to gank, right? Like typically most junglers gank uh, between three minutes and three fifteen. That's just how like the timer plays out with you know clearing cl three camps into gank, which is pretty standard. Um, but Vigar's a little bit different, clearly, because I don't think we've seen him, uh, gank yet. This guy's just dead. What is this guy doing? Well, bye. Five ki Four kills. Four kills in the bot lane at four minutes. Dude, I don't know, guys. Marksman just don't seem that weak to me, to be honest. So they've got a Kane mid and a Vigar jungle. That's so weird. Very, very strange. Well, anyways, this is what I wanted. Grab the plate. Now we back. Always just back as soon as you can. We should have ever... Like, this second plate right here, this is like the the leading cause of greed, in my opinion. It always looks like you can get that plate, and you almost can never, never can. Like, unless you have your jungler down there, like, with you, help you helping you take it. All it does is, like, stall your back. Or, like, get you caught and die to a gank or something. So, there's our first educational point, guys. Very rarely should you ever get a kill and then greed for that second plate. Take the first plate, go back, spin your money, get back on the map. Um, again, this Vigar's pathing is, like, it's going to be really weird because it's a Vigar jungle. I've never seen that before. Not really familiar with, like, how fast it clears. But I'm going to be walking to the crab. Just in case I can find it. Because right now, guys, I have two kills. I got already got my first lethality item. Uh, I absolutely can just, like, dumpster anyone going for this crab, see? The dragon killed him, actually. That's so funny. Okay, we got MS Flash there. Dodge the zap. If I don't dodge the zap, i probably die there. Uh, may as well take the dragon, right? Or at least prep it for our jungle? Okay. Go back and fix our lanes instead. Uh. So here is a another educational learning moment, guys. Always try to push the wave before you try to do anything. Like, it was actually pretty bad of me to, like, even consider starting the dragon there. Because you should always just shove your wave. Shove your wave before doing anything. Oh, I hit her with the Q slow. Rooted. Bye bye. No, Coggy. Hey, okay, Vigar's here. Did not think you would path like that. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fight this. We can bring Brand down. We're gonna get the speed up here. We know Kane's sitting in the bush trying to gank us. I'm gonna drop the exhaust on him just so his ulti doesn't kill him there. It's that easy, baby. It's that easy. Uh, we just used our smite. I don't know about that. Yeah, may as well grab this. Uh, MF's checking here. He's rooted. We can probably run her down. Get the movement speed from my E. Hit her with the slow. Probably kill this Jinx too. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> do you see how much getting those like early kills in lane just absolutely- It just lets you like do literally whatever you want to do in the game. Getting an early lead as Senna is like so ridiculously broken. And it all stemmed from our aggressive play on level 1. This girl's on fire. True. Alright, so another learning moment. Kong'Ma was thinking about walking over here and warding. It's so much easier to do what I talked about earlier. Just shove the wave in and then we'll go ward together. We'll take this plate. And then we'll go ward. Right? Because this makes it so that worst case scenario, I'm walking into like Vigar in this bush. He's not going to be here. But like worst case scenario, Vigar's in there, right? And... You know, let's say I do walk into Vigar, his bot lane can't come because they're 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 under their turret having to get their CS and XP, right? So always just shove your wave. It's like the easiest rule of thumb ever. Before doing anything in League of Legends, just shove the wave. Oh bye. E haul, baby. Alright, we play for a dive here. Okay, no no need to freak out. No no need to and do anything too crazy there. Easy dive. Oh my god, man! Eight kills at nine minutes, bro. This like might be the most fed I've ever been on support center. Holy lord! All right, I have three thousand gold to spend at nine minutes. What in the world is going on? Right, we got all the plates, dude. We may as well just like take this, take this turret, get out of this lane, and just start annihilating the game. Hmm, it was unfortunate. Maybe I could have pumped the Q into uh, into Cogmall there, kept him alive. I have to flash this. No. Oh my god. And he lives too. Okay. I got ignited. Ulted. Jinx ulted. Rip. Alright. Uh, we're going to walk back into lane with our entire Umbral Glaive. Actually, if, if, if you're this far ahead, you should just like get your entire mythic, right? So we'll go that, that. Give some more lethality. Holy god. Uh, full runes again. We're not going anything like too crazy for our um, for our, our build or runes. Just going very standard Senna stuff. Just having good play. Fleet footwork, presence of mind, legend alacrity, cut down, biscuit delivery, approach velocity, and then AD AD armor. Very standard stuff. Now I don't have the benefit of having my early umbral to like clear out vision back here. But I am so freaking strong that, like, I'm very confident that if I run into their Vigar, I can just kill him. Take one of his Krugs. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little bit of counter jungling. And then if they walk into lane here, I can kill him as well. See Vigar. She's rooted. Oh my god, I got them both rooted. Bye 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 Holy lord. Dude, this is the most brutal game of Sinna I have ever seen, honestly. Yo, shout out to the, uh, the Tarek jungle, though. Actually doing work. Yeah, may as well take the red buff. Why not?
Why not, man? Yeah, I mean, at, at this game, we've just become like a roaming god. Decimate these plates. Uh, Vigar might greed for that Rift Herald. I don't know. He looked. I think he was pretty low, actually. Oh, he's over there, though. Targ just beats him to death, huh? <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you, big guy. Another one to the list. All right, Jinx picked up Brand down there. Shove the wave. Remember, before you do anything, just shove the wave. Just shove the wave. Only time you shouldn't be shoving the wave is when you're trying to freeze. It just gives you so many strategic advantages. Like, you can rotate to fights in the jungle. You can rotate to whatever objective your, your uh, jungler's trying to do. You can be first to river fights. You can gank. You can do dragon. Like, you get more vision when you shove. Yo, Kane. I'm just going to exhaust him because I don't... Again, I'm not super familiar with, like, Vigar's damage output. So I didn't want to just get, like, straight one-shot by a Vigar there. Okay, I have 2,500 gold to spin, guy. Oh! Jinx is dead. Go get her. She's stuck in the alcove, boys. Oh, wait. MF's down here, too, though. She might get out. She's pretty fast. Uh, uh, does that kill? Yep. <laughs> no, I need one more auto. Dude, I really do not remember, like, getting this fed ever before on Senna. This genuinely might be, like, the biggest Senna pop-off of all time. Can I fit through here? Oh my god, man. They can't even, like, leave their tier 3 turret. Um. Oh, nice pickup, nice pickup. Boom, boom, boom. 14 kills, guys. 14 kills in 15 minutes. I mean, this has to be an FF, right? This literally just has to be like an instant 15 minute FF. Go get Dragon. Oh, Jinx. You're looking a little overextended there, bro. Oh my god. Well, uh oh. Well, I wanted this to be like a, a like a more like slow paced educational game, but like we literally just got so fed and just like hyper snowballed that now it's just become like an absolute massacre. I mean, you could still learn like how we got to this point, you know? Like we played super super aggro level 1. We knew our matchups. Etc. Etc. But uh, now now you guys just need to like sit back and uh, enjoy the show at this point, because now we've just become like an angel of death. You best not hope, or you best hope that Sinna doesn't show up on your screen. Okay, there's alt. I can come in here. I can save him. Oh, yeah. Oh, the double yee Oh, man. That is a thing of legends, guys. The double kill on one Senna ult. No way. Oh, my. Chat. Guys, have you ever seen one of those? These freaking minions out of my way. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, I have Collector now. Oh, I'm four levels up on their jungler. I have four levels up on their jungler, bro. Penta? Penta? No Penta, man. No Penta. I'm so sad. Oh, did I, do I die? <gasps> I don't die, though. Beautiful. Penta kill. Rip. Even the enemy team is, like, cheering for me at this point. All right. Collector time. A little, little collector action. Oh, my God. I just bought collector and RFC in one buy. Dude, I, I, I can't get over, like, how ridiculous this game became. I really did intend for it to be, like, a slower, like, educational game. But then I was just like, bop, kill, bop, kill, bop, kill. But, uh, not, hey, now, now it's just a pop-off, baby. Now it's just a GSA Cine pop off Oh, nice double stun. I am literally just farming champions, bro. There's the FF. There's the FF. They don't want to give the Penta 26 kills in 18 minutes, man. I have never, I have never gotten that freaking fed before. Oh my lord. How absurd was that, guys? What is... Okay, hold on. Let, let, let me do the math on that. So, the 18-minute game... Divided by 26 kills. Wait, 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 no, no. 26 kills divided by 18 minutes. That's 1.44... 1.45 kills per minute. And really, like, the game doesn't even start until, like... You, you know, like like two minutes into the game when when minions crash or whatever. But anyways, thirty three thousand damage coming out of Senna. Absolutely ridiculous freaking damage chart. I did more damage than their entire team. I did more damage than their entire team combined. Oh my lord, that was so much fun. But uh, anyways, we'll do like a more actual like educational game uh, down the road. That's not what this game turned into. This was just an absolute slaughterhouse. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. That was super freaking fun. Uh, take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh